Hey everyone, it's Laura from Book Bubbler. I thought I would do a little daily vlog today just for the heck of it. So today is Monday the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. Oh, I'm going to say 23rd. 23rd. Um, <laughs> um, I have some errands to run today and um, oh, I have to call the plumber to snake my shower. It's a terribly glamorous day. I'm so glad that I'm recording it for posterity. Uh, <laughs> but I also have a few books I'd like to catch up today and finish. So one of them is The Age of Wonder by Richard Holmes. I have about 100 pages left in that. It's nonfiction about science in the um, 1700s, I believe. Don't even remember that. Um, I also am working on a Robin Carr book, down by the river, it's the last in the Grace Valley Trilogy. I have 100 pages left of that. I would like to try and start reading Lost City of Z by David Gran. I've heard that there's some animal abuse stuff in there, so that might not actually be read. It might be a DNF. And then I would like to start some David Sedaris and see how that is going to go. Maybe that will be a DNF as well. I don't know. But for now, I need to call the plumber before I leave the house. Um, it's about 11 o'clock exactly in the morning uh, and I will be heading hopefully to Trader Joe's. That may not happen depending on the line to get in. Otherwise, I am not sure where I'm going to head next. I'm trying to find a turkey breast for my mom and I. It will just be the two of us for Thanksgiving and I had no luck last week at a grocery store. So yeah, we'll see. All right, let's see how Trader Joe's looks. Hey. Okay, so the plumber is coming today between two and four, which is really nice. Didn't expect that um, quick of a service, but I'm very thankful. And yeah, I went to Trader Joe's to just see what the line was, and it was uh, wrapped around two sides of the building, and the parking lot was full. I thought, um, I'm not going in there. <laughs> I don't have to stop that badly. So I went to... Sendix, another local grocery store. I have several of them within a couple of mile radius for me. And I lucked out. I got some already prepared, already sliced turkey breast, like, you know, deli slices. It wasn't cheap, but it was still, I think we have six slices. So that's enough for a couple for my mom and I plus leftovers. Um, otherwise, my only other option was to get like a raw turkey breast plus parts. And the cheapest bundle of that I saw was for $26. So we don't need that much turkey for my mom and I. <laughs> so I got that. So that's all done. I got a pumpkin pie. That's all done. Like I got wine because that's important. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty good. Now I'm going to go to my mom's house and drop off some leftovers. I made the Mexican potatoes and eggs that Angie at Literary Labors showed us how to do a couple weeks ago. I made that on Sunday for brunch and I'm gonna give my mom some leftovers with some tortillas. Hope she likes that. Yeah, it's shaping up okay. I hope I'm not jinxing myself. Also, I bought myself this forage peach kombucha. Uh, I opened it in the car and it went all over my pants. <laughs> Good thing I wear black pants because otherwise I'd be kind of screwed once they, once it dries, it'll be fine. Oh boy. So it's pretty good. Peachy, but not like overly so. Not bad for kombucha. So yeah, I'm going to go to my mom's and then head home to do a quick clean of the rest of my bathroom. I have a couple of hours until he shows up, but of course, because it's last minute, I have a feeling he will be maybe early unless I prepare. So if I clean everything, he'll be on time or late. If I don't clean, he'll be early. I'm just going to clean anyways. So yeah, that's how the day's going so far. Hi. It's almost four o'clock. It's getting really dark out, even though it looks like it's really light outside on the camera. Like no, like the street lights are coming on. That's how dark it is getting outside right now. Um, after I dropped off some groceries at my mom's house and got home, I was talking to Danny on the phone. Hi, Danny. And um, I saw the plumbers pull up. So they got here 
an hour and a half early. Also, not the company I called, but a random other company I'd never heard of before. They rang the bell and I said, oh, ah, you guys are here early. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and walked in. I apologize for the mess because I didn't have any time to clean the bathroom before they got in there. I didn't have time to make sure that the walkways in front, walkways in the basement by um, underneath the bathroom, that they were clear in case they had to go downstairs for any reason. I didn't have time for any of that stuff. I was home for less than 10 minutes and they showed up. Um, so it was an older guy and a younger guy. They barely talked. Like I could hear the older guy say, let me know when you're ready. And I would hear nothing from the basement from the, where the younger guy was. And then he would start doing stuff. So I, I thought the younger guy was mute, maybe. I, I literally, no reaction to anything. Like, it was so strange. And the older guy had no sense of humor whatsoever. I kind of made a crack about, oh, I hope you've seen a, you know, messier house. And nothing. not Nothing. Like, I didn't speak. <laughs> it's like, fine. So... They were here for 45 minutes or so. The older guy, um, he said, oh, I've never seen a drain like yours before. It's, I said, really, uh, all the old houses around here? I mean, old relative, like early 1900s houses, you know, um, in this neighborhood at least. And he said, no, never. Okay. And then he was out the door and I said, oh, well, how, how much do I owe you? You know, he said, oh, no, they'll... We're a higher out, so the the original company will send you a bill. I said, okay. He said, we'll be right back in with the bucket. We just had to empty something. I said, okay. So then he just got in the car. And the younger kid came in the house, went in my basement, put something back, and it just was almost out the door. And I said, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys coming so quickly. And he said, yeah. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not looking for a stand-up comedian show, uh, but I am looking for a little back and forth, you know, like, or uh, even a goodbye. <laughs> Nothing. Fine. Whatever. My tub is running clean now. It's wonderful. It's the little things in life. So I had lunch after that, and I have been literally laying on the couch poking at my phone, doing nothing for the last couple of hours. Oh my God, it's terrible. So I'm going to go get my neighbors packaged. They just got delivered, get that for them and um, come back in the house. And my gosh, I hope I read something because this is turning out to be kind of a bust of a day. Hey there, it's much later now. <laughs> it's about quarter after 10 and uh, after deciding to really smartly uh, start rewatching season eight of Taskmaster, which I've already watched twice, I suddenly realized, oh yeah, ding dong, you were doing <laughs> a reading vlog today. I should probably read something. So I just finished Down by the River by Robin Carr. Um, I'm not sure... <laughs> how coherent this mini review is going to be because I am very tired suddenly. So, um, okay. This is the third in the trilogy set in Grace Valley, California, which is very close to Virgin River. If you're familiar with that series or talking about it or whatever. Um, in this book, June, who is our main character, she is, uh, very heavily pregnant and engaged-ish to Jim, father of her baby. And they're, they have decided at the start of this book to not get married until they knew that they were both sure since they were both set in their ways and in their 30s and 40s. And they knew no matter what happened, they would have a good friendship and they would take care of their child, but weren't sure about marriage. And then there's everyone in the town who was involved. Um, her elderly aunt, who was married, and then her husband disappeared. Uh, she became a famous writer, <laughs> uh, known for killing off husbands in uh, thrillers. <laughs> so I think the book before this one, 
the cops came into town and dug up her um, yard looking for his dead body, essentially. Um, well, she, this elderly aunt <laughs> gets an admirer and he comes into town to meet her and that's a big hubbub. There are more people down on their luck that pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Everyone in town helps each other out. Um, old high school friends who have moved away, moved back into town, they have uh, very much trouble raising, like horribly trouble raising twin teenage sons. Um, they get in a bad accident and are now in traction and then they get in, you know, to wheelchairs and things. And so it's all this small town life, but around it all is June and her pregnancy. And uh, she has her baby and it ends with the two of them getting married, which is a surprise to literally nobody. Also, if, if you've ever read um, a romantic fiction book before, you pretty much know how it's going to end when it starts. But it's still fun getting there. So I enjoyed this, you know, three stars. Um, her writing is really easy to read. And I started this an hour ago. I had 125 pages left. So, I mean, I can get through it pretty quickly. But yeah, I'm glad I actually got some reading in on this reading vlog day. Who would have thunk? Um, so <laughs> it's pretty late. I have to put everything together here and like do the thumbnail and all that stuff. So instead of this being posted at 5 a.m. on a Tuesday like I normally would, it'll just be posted after I'm awake and <laughs> um, get up and running tomorrow morning. So sometime on Tuesday, you will see this. Here's hoping I make sense. Also, uh, I... Even though I've been to the grocery store twice in the last week, I still don't have stuff for meals for dinner. Like I just, so I got <laughs> boneless wings tonight and I dropped them on my shirt like three times. And I had, <laughs> I had a napkin on me too. So I'm glad I was wearing like this crazy pattern sweatshirt so you can't see much, but yeah, this is going right in the wash. That's for darn sure. Oh, and my hair looks nice too. This is how my hair looks when I um, read usually, like, hairstylist extraordinaire, that's me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this sort of impromptu, not so much reading vlog. Um, I am going to try and do Vlogmas this year. I am very apprehensive, and for someone like me who really enjoys planning, I have literally nothing planned. <laughs> Um, someone asked me if I would do the, do I have that book tag, which I can certainly do one of the days. Um, and I'll plan on doing Friday reads videos still through December. But other than that, I have no content planned. <laughs> so if you have ideas for me or something you would like to see, please let me know. I mean, I'll come up with stuff for sure. And I have a very large backlog of tags to do. I can certainly work on those. Um, I thought of going through my poetry collection and maybe thinning some of that out and doing the same for my um, mass market romance collection, I guess you can call it, and my cozy mysteries. I could do those. Um, I haven't finished switching the shelves around and flipping the actual shelves themselves here, so I could do that for some of those days. I don't know. Do you want to say anything specifically? I will be happy to entertain any and all suggestions because call this the late hour and my very tired brain talking, but I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so yeah, we shall see. Okay, I'm going to go <laughs> stop talking in circles and um, I will see you guys in the morning. My Tuesday is going to be extremely glamorous. Um, it will involve obviously putting this together and getting it up. But other than that, it will be cleaning my entire bathroom and washing a massive amount of blankets and sheets and towels for work. So it's going to be super fancy here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I hope you're all doing well. And <laughs> Uh, you enjoyed this little weird video 
and I will talk to you guys very soon. Good night. Bye.